Welcome to this support video for the DroneBlocks desktop app. The desktop app is uh, very new, but we're really excited about it. We have some uh, cool features that incorporate using the uh, built-in sensors and telemetry to uh, build logic as well as a mission pad and LED support. But uh, aside from that, we've had uh, several users report a few issues related to uh, intermittent behavior with the DroneBlocks desktop app. And we've narrowed it down to a firewall issue. What happens is that you might be able to connect, but when you launch a mission, uh, your mission will either stall where your drone is just hovering in the air, or you'll observe intermittent behavior where uh, blocks are skipped. And through further diagnosis, we've realized that a uh, firewall issue is definitely at play. So, here is our app in the Windows Store, and I have the current version installed. I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Let's assume that this is a brand new install. You want to make sure uh, that you allow uh, access to both private and public networks for FFmpeg. That is a video decoding tool that we use within DroneBlocks so that you can get Tello's video stream, take photos, record video, and do all of that cool stuff. So you want to make sure that you have both of these checked. And then you'll also, after that, see another one that sometimes gets hidden. And I think that's where people are missing this uh, behind the scenes. So you want to make sure that you have uh, drone blocks allowed for private and public networks. So once that's done, you'll be able to uh, connect and get the video stream. Now you will need to have administrative access. So you'll either need to uh, have an account on your computer or maybe that is done at the district level. Now let me walk through the scenario where you may have installed drone blocks and not seen those pop-ups to allow a firewall access. And keep in mind that the firewall access is just a way to allow communication from uh, your PC to and from Tello. So that will that includes both sending and receiving commands as well as video. I'll go ahead and jump over to my firewall settings. You'll notice in this list at the very bottom, you can scroll to allow an app through the firewall. You'll notice that there is no drone blocks or FFmpeg uh, setting. So what I'll do now is go ahead and launch drone blocks. I'm going to just close out of this. Let's assume that maybe we missed this or something else happened uh, where these were skipped over. Then I will go back to my firewall settings to allow an app through. If we scroll down You'll see drone blocks, but you'll notice that it's not enabled and you'll see FFmpeg. Those are both not enabled. And what that means is that when you're using drone blocks or you can connect to Tello, but uh, you're not gonna be successful executing any missions. So we'll fix that by going to change settings. I'll select drone blocks and I'll select FFmpeg. We want both private and public. We'll click okay. So everything is now uh, back to a state where we want it. For example, if we had done a fresh install and opted into both of those uh, settings, we'd be good to go. And I've gone ahead and powered up Tello after we've made those firewall settings to allow communication. You'll see the network here. I'll click connect. And then immediately upon connection, you'll notice that we are now getting our telemetry data at the top. We have our video feed, we can go full screen, minimize, and of course, we'll be able to uh, launch the mission and then all of the block commands will work as expected. Let me wrap up by saying that many of you may be transitioning from the Chrome app to the desktop app and wanna quickly explain why this wasn't an issue with our Chrome app. So basically, when you install Google Chrome, you give access to many permissions. And by the nature of us building on top of Chrome, we had access to a lot of those permissions, which you didn't have to worry about in the firewall. Not only that, the desktop version has access to Tello's camera, 
which requires uh, another port to be able to uh, receive and stream the video. Uh, that was not the case with Google Chrome. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, we have uh, the forums that you can jump in, post them there, or reach out uh, to our support team at support at droneblocks.io. Really hope you're enjoying the desktop app and uh, we have lots more of cool things uh, coming soon. Thank you.